Alola friends, Dapper Drabby here, and welcome back. We're gonna finally get these two guys built. We have uh, the Ultra Necrozma uh, box, and we have the Greninja box that we both got. We got our sleeves set aside for each of them um, that I will pull out later. I guess we're gonna try to probably build... I guess we'll build the Greninja first, so we'll set this box aside and kind of get into that and hopefully I don't lean too far forward so you guys can't see me but uh, I'm trying to double check everything here um, got a new space for the camera obviously I have it set, a set to the side of me rather than in front of me so leaves a little more space here and a little little more back and forth so we'll stick that up there so what I went ahead and did with the Greninja box um, which I'll put Greninja over here. I guess he's kind of like the mascot of that box, to be specific. You can brighten it up there. There we go. So what I did already was I transferred it into, you know, trainers, normal types, grass types, fire types, water types. So I already so so I already changed it into types. So we'll just go ahead and pull them aside. So you know we have all of our trainers, all of our normal types here some grass types fire types water which can just technically part of uh, lightning fighting got a lot of fighting and then we got a ton of psychic a dragon and a couple of fairies um, so let's go ahead. We'll read the back of this actually. Some building tips. I don't know if it's going to focus on it at all or if it's uh, bright enough for you guys to see. But building tips. Get ready to build and battle with Pokemon TCG Sun and Moon Forbidden Light Expansion. Here are some tips and guidelines to get you started. This build and battle box includes 23 card evolution pack which contains one of four exclusive promo cards and four booster packs from the sun and moon forbidden light set you'll get to use these cards along with basic energies to build a 40 card deck for the pre-release format um the 23 card evolution pack is a starting point to build your deck it contains pokemon of different energy types along with some of their evolutions a handful of trainers are included as well as you use many of these cards you will uh as you will use many of these cards when you build your deck Open four booster packs to see what you get inside. Um, you could find a Pokemon GX or other powerful cards to add to your deck, which we found some powerful cards that we can't add to our deck. Um, just remember that Pokemon GX are evolution Pokemon, so there's earlier stages needed to play them, and that's what kind of sucks sometimes. Include as many trainer cards as you can. They're important for gaining advantage over your opponent. Just watch out for the ones that have no effect in your deck. Um, like a perfect example is if we play Mysterious Treasure but we play no Psychic types or Dragon types, then it's useless in our deck. It's just discarding a card. Um, energy cards are crucial for powering up your Pokemon. Make sure you leave room for about 13 to 16. This is a good tip, actually. for Because what happens in the 40-card decks is you're going to still need the same amount of energy and Pokemon for a 40 card deck but what you're going to need less of is trainers to get through 40 cards rather than 60 cards and that's kind of an idea because you so you could really i think if i build this online i will open up the the pre-release kit and what i'm probably going to do is just double the amount of trainers and i think that should be the solution to be able to make a 60 card deck rather than a 40 card deck uh but we'll see i don't really think i'll have 15 trainers so getting another 20 cards out of it is not so easy but we'll, we'll figure it out um because i will be doing something online with this i have a lot of ideas for this stuff but it's just slow uh yes yeah, so 13 to 16 energy, try to stick to two to three energy types you might be able to find the other ones you need during your games uh yeah if you if you don't have enough energy you won't be able to use the proper attacks uh and build about a format or pre-release format. A normal limit of four cards of the same name does not apply. For example, you can have five copies of Scatterbug, like most Scatterbug decks in pre-releases. Uh, <laughs> you can use them all. You may find some cards that get sent to the Lost Zone, cards that go to the Lost Zone are unable for the rest of the game. They cannot be brought back. It's a good idea to put your Lost Zone cards above your prize cards so it's obvious that they aren't in play. So you if so you don't forget to shuffle them back into your deck when you when your game is over and it says good luck trainer so i'm hoping the lighting's still okay on all this 
So Necrozma's power has no limit. Um, taking Pokemon by surprise, Necrozma has absorbed. Legendary Pokemon take on a few new forms like Ultra Go Necrozma. You can also gather Welcome New Light to resist it. Lucario, Greninja, Zygarde, Eviltal, Naganadel. I might just have to keep that up there so I can always pronounce it properly. Is Naganadel. And even Volcanium Prism Star, the majestic Arceus Prism Star, can choose a side to discover awesome Pokemon and mysterious treasures in Pokemon TCG Forbidden Light expansion. So I didn't get to read that last time, so I thought I'd read it this time to really kind of go into it. So, what do we want? We want to use our Greninja, but can we use our Greninja? That is the question. So we have Bergmite, Amora, Dupider, and Araquanid. There is no Ferokis or Frogadiers out of these, and that is what kind of sucks. So we cannot use our Greninja GX, and that is unfortunate. Let's see if the trainers really give us an idea of what we can use. So, Mysterious Treasure says Psychic Dragon, Timer Ball, Great Ball, Nest Ball, Looker Looker, uh, Professor Kukui, Sophocles, a Metal Frying Pan says Metal. We have no Metal, so that is a useless card. Ultra Spest says Ultra Beast, so maybe we can find some Ultra Beast. Um, so, we're looking for Psychic or Ultra Beast is really the two two cards in here that are specifics that we do want to use and metal frying pan like I said we cannot even use we have no metal types unless there's something that gets a a tool card and that raises the damage output or something like eradicate but yeah that's not allowed so uh, let's look for any ultra beast we have a couple purples and I think that's it I don't think we have any other ultra beast um, I'm just looking at these ones first because they have the most in them. Yep, no Zerka tree. There's none in here. None there, none there. And that's a surprise we have so few of those. And Noibat and Furfru. So yeah, we have no Ultra Beast. Sorry. So that's another card that is pretty much useless for this deck. Is a couple Ultra Beasts, which kind of sucks. That's a good way to get cards out. Um, I mean, Pulple... Portable might uh, still be useful. Causes poisoned and knockout reviver during your next point. You can avoid prizes with this. So, I mean, we'll keep the ultra space purples over here as an option, but they're not likely to be played. Um, we have Lit Leo, two Fennekins. That's not going to do us very much. I mean, Lit Leo does attack for no color, no energy, or for colorless energy. So we could use any energy type with him to get that weakness. But, uh, so, I mean, he's a maybe, but not likely. Fennekin, we're not going to use. Um, Grass-type Scatterbug, Snover, and Obama Snow. No, it's nothing to evolve Scatterbug into, so it's not really a point. doesn't really make sense to get the, the evolute, get that bug when we don't have the Spupa or the Vivalon. Now, this is interesting. When you play this, you can, from your hand, you evolve one of your Pokemon. You may touch a Grass Energy from the discard pile to one of your Pokemon. But, the thing about Obama Snow, I mean, we may have a, a full line of it here, but somebody does that better, and that is Malamar with the Psychic Recharge. So, we're probably just going to scrap Obama Snow for Psychic Recharge. It's just It's just better for it. Um, normal types, these are always possible. Uh, Bundle B does collect. Uh, destructive sound, get rid of the items. But there's not a lot of items in this format, so maybe not. And Furfrow has that return. Get those five cards in your hand. So we might, we'll probably end up using Furfrow. Uh, but other than that, I'm not sure what else we would use in this. So what it looks like we really have to decide here is... Um, I said there's no more. There's no water types here. I mean, Dewpider... Maybe. But the problem is with this is you could use Bubble Trap, but you have to have a Water Energy in there. So maybe I'll put the uh, the types, the type maybes over here. The Lit Leo, the Araquanid. Um, yeah, I'm really not going to play Obama Snow, but he only attacks for one Grass, so maybe. Um, but we'll put them there. Can't move the mascot too much, I guess. Um, I'm trying to make sure the lighting's not bad on these. Um, so, let's go over here. Flabebe, Floette, not really going to help us. Gumi has a flail, but with only 50 HP, it's not going to do much. So the question is really, fighting Psychic or uh, Electric? Sorry, my nose itches. 
So for our fighting types, we have Halucha, Sky Drops, not bad. And his colorless Act Tough, Cubone, Croagunk, Two Hands. Um, so we don't have Toxicroak. Those guys don't seem useful just yet. Binacle, uh, Garchomp, Violet. We got Reverse, Gibite, Holographic, Garchomp, but no Gibble. So we cannot use that as well. Wow, well, our, our, our infamous uh, Garchomp Greninja deck is just not going to happen for us. It's very unfortunate. Uh, Babarical, one Fighting Energy, seven Shock. If you have exactly seven cards in your hand, your opponent is now paralyzed. Um, that doesn't seem terribly useful. But I don't know. 90 damage and allotment draws a card. Put that in that pile as a maybe. I think Halucha might be useful though. Sky Drop does do 80 damage. Um, 20 less for each uh, each star in the retreat cost. Which kind of sucks. Um, but, I mean, it, that sounds like it might be useful. And we got to build, start building somewhere. Halucha might be a good option. 80 damage is no slack. So now it's like Magnemite, Magnazone, or uh, our Inke Malamar. So for this line, we have a 2-2-2. Two, two, two. For Inke, we have four Inkes, three Malamars, and that's a pretty obvious choice, I would say, is that um, go with the 4-4 four, four count. That's going to do better for you. Um, I mean, we still could use Magnazone, but with three Lightning as its attack, it's just not, doesn't make a lot of sense. We'll put it aside as a maybe in case we do need spaces, but we will see what is in our Psychic types. I'm also grabbing Healisk here because it attacks for Colorless, and so it might be useful with those Psychic Energies, but if we can play just Psychic Energies, that's going to be great. So it looks like we are going to start our line with four Inkes, uh, we got three Malamars. That's pretty great. Uh, Esper's not going to do us any good. But we have three Mess Spirits and two Uxies. So Mess Spirits, uh, if you have an Ez up in play, you have no resistance. If you have Uxie on the bench, it does 50 more. So it can do 70 damage for two energy because you will most likely have an Uxie on the bench and a uh, if you play both of them. Um, now what does Uxie do? Choose one of your opponent's active Pokemon attacks and y wait, what? Choose one of your opponent's active Pokemon attack. That Pokemon cannot use that attack during your opponent's next turn. So Memory Skip, that's not a bad attack either. Um, this is really hard to not have like Greninja, but you know, we do have our base 7 here. So there's 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 Pokemon so far, so we're we're uh bleh. we're one fourth way into the deck. There's ten Pokemon. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine trainers. That's kind of that kind of sucks. There's only nine trainers, um, but it is what it is. Uh, and then we can play these five. So that's ten, fifteen. And so we could mix in the electric one. Who's weak against electric, though? That's the question. In this set, who would be weak against electric? And I'm not think of anybody off the top of my head. I'm thinking of Buzzhole when I think of... Or in Lycanroc when I think of uh, fighting types that could really knock this thing down a peg. The main Pokemon everyone's going for is Ultra Necrozma, of course. I'm not saying this just because the other deck did get that, but Alternate Cosmo is going to be big, and uh, Malamar is going to be big, right? And Malamar is weak to itself, so that's fine. Um, means we have a big psychic weakness as well, though. I just don't see anything that's weak against Electric that really says I should play Heliosk. And so I think I'm going to go without that. Um, everything seems to be weak against Fighting, which means it's probably a better choice to play Babarical than it is to play Helioptile. And then, uh, what about our maybes? So we have 15. Yeah, we'll play these, I guess. And, uh, is this useful is the question. Is purple useful? Um, causes poison. 
and can deny a prize if you know it's going to be knocked out. I'm not sure. I'm really not sure about that. And Ultra Space works for both parties, right? And if somebody else gets a better Ultra Beast, then that's going to help them. Once during each player's turn, yeah. So we don't want to play Ultra Space for purple because it's way more useful to our opponent than it is to us. Especially like Zygarde can just like discard it. Metal Frying Pan is not going to help us. So how much do we have here? We can see if this is a deck. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So 24. And in a porter, I mean, it's just in case somebody does have a special card. 24 out of 40, leaving 16 spots for energy. Might not be bad. The question is, is there any last minute things that we feel like we do want? Um, see, Obama Snow intrigues me because of Zygarde. Like, Obama Snow could literally just be Zygarde counter. And I know I'm saying all this knowing what my opponent is playing. Uh, I feel like Snover, I, I, I would think to chop maybe try to tech in a counter. I don't know what's weak against water, though. What is weak against water? So you gotta kind of know what the set, what's in the set. It does really help which decisions like this. Because it's like, uh, I think 14 energy is all I need. Oh, 14 psychics. So what else do I want to do to counter that? And it might be like... It might be a Bama Snow, Snover, or a Babarco. Because what's weak against Babarco is, uh. Like Furfrow and stuff, which, I mean, you're not gonna see. A, I guess I do expect to see Furfrow in every deck, but who knows. Uh. We'll go with one of those. So that's 24, 26, 14 Psychic Energies, which I'll have to go through my energies. For sure to find, um, yeah, my, my energy box over here is is way overflowing. Um, so I don't know if I'd find the Psychic right away, but we're, we're going to be playing with it is probably going to be Psychic Energy, and it'll just be 14 of them. Well, wait, uh, I'm going to throw in two Grass Energies, and the rest will be Psychic, so... 12 Psychic, 2 Grass, um, and I think that's the right choice on energies for this deck. Uh, let me see if I can find the 14 Psychic though, because I'll need them for the other deck too, right? 2 more, another one... And a, another one, another one. And these are all pulled from packs, guys. That's that's the craziness about this massive uh, energy amount that I have here, is that it's all from packs. It's been way too many packs. Okay, so looks like... That's through all those. Let's count how many we have here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So we do have fourteen. We're gonna go ahead and put this together as a thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, the 1, the 2, the 3, the 4, the 5, the 6, the 7, the 8, the 9, 41. Huh? I might have counted wrong. I might have counted wrong. Um, otherwise, I'll just remove an energy at the end here. But I'll make sure that there's definitely 40. There's only 40 sleeves here. So once I get it sleeved up for that next video, there will only be 40. We'll go over the deck one more time before that. But all these cards... 
look like extra. So what we're going to do with the Greninja deck is we'll set it aside for now. Um, it'll just be over here in the corner while we go ahead and start the build for the Ultra Necrozma deck. I hope this hasn't been running too long. Looks like it has been 20 minutes already. Um, so I may have just barely made it on that one. Um, we'll say that it was... Uh, Actually, how about I stop it there, actually. I'll stop it there, and we will start the build of the next one in a second.